Hello everybody and welcome back to another new video. It's me, Will, and uh, this is just going to be a quick video to show you my two newest additions to my Green Day collection. And just to go ahead and answer your question, yes, I did buy two more copies of Saviors, the new Green Day record, one on vinyl and another one on CD. Uh, but there, I believe it's for a good reason, because I do think that these two items are collector's items. And there's definitely something unique and interesting in these two uh, new versions or different versions of Saviors. So yeah, let's go ahead and check them out. And let's start off with this one. This is the vinyl version of Saviors on Zoetrope Picture Disc. And uh, this one was sold exclusively in, in the UK. So it's an, an import from England. Um, again, Zoetrope Picture Disc. And to be honest, I was not aware of this company called Zoetrope that makes this special edition picture discs on vinyl records. I was I became aware of them when they announced this one of uh, Saviors and I went ahead and pre-ordered it from their website. It was a little bit expensive to have it shipped from England, um, but I think it was worth it because it's definitely unique and uh, it is also limited to only 4,000 copies and it's also hand numbered here in the sticker. So I got copy 1,301 out of 4,000. And this being a special edition uh, picture disc, it doesn't come with a regular, like a picture sleeve. It does come with uh, just a standard clear uh, sleeve so you can see the artwork and the disc. And at first sight, it almost looks like it's the same picture in both sides. But if you look closely, you can see that you get saviors here uh, in the outside ring of the record and you get Green Day in the inner side of the, of the record in this side. And the other side you get the opposite. You get Green Day in this side and Saviors here inside of the record. So the whole th uh, thing or the whole point about this record is that it creates kind of like a really cool, um, uh, kind of like, um, like a visual effect when it's spinning in your turntable. Um, kind of like a moving type of picture. But there is a little bit of a catch. When uh, So there is a way to see the effect when it's spinning in the turntable, but in order to see it, you have to use a cell phone. Uh, so one of the ways to do it is that you have to have, of course, have it in your, spin in your turntable, turn on a bunch of lights, and then use your cell phone, your, your camera app in your cell phone to see the effect through the phone. Um, uh, and the reason why you have to have a lot of lights on is because you want to have the shutter speed in your phone kind of like speed up a little bit so you can actually see the effect the, uh, the right way. But you cannot see it strictly with your naked eye using that technique. To, to be able to see it just with your eyes, uh, you have to also use your cell phone, but you have to install an app, a strobe app, point it at the desk, and then you'll be able to see the effect uh, you just um, without uh, going through or looking through the cell phone. I have not tried that second way because I don't want to install a new app on my phone, but I have tried it just looking through the uh, camera app in the phone. It looks fine. It looks really cool, actually, when you're seeing it through the phone. Uh, and I'll go ahead and post a video of that clip of the record spinning in the turntable right now so you can check, out, check it out. And I also posted that video in one of my shorts and my channel just a few weeks ago. So the effect is super cool. <laughs> it's it's kind of like... Um, the, the letters of the, of the, in the record are dancing around. And the ones in the center, especially on this side, you can see the letters moving in different speeds. Uh, and some of them are moving in the, other, in the opposite direction. So it looks really cool when it's spinning in the turntable. I was glad that I was able to pre-order one of these ones because I do, I do think that they sold out pretty quickly. And I don't think Green Day does very many picture discs anymore. Uh, they did do, do them during the American Idiot era with the singles and picture discs. But after that, I don't think they have done many uh, picture discs like this in their, in, in their catalog. So really cool addition to my Green Day collection, of course. All right, and the second uh, item that I wanted to show you in this video is uh, this one right here. It's on CD. This is the Japanese exclusive version of Saviors. And I got this one from eBay. And uh, this one comes with an, bonus, an extra bonus track called Fever that it is not included in the other versions of, uh, of Saviors. 
And I went through the packaging on this one and it looks almost exactly the same as the, uh, the US version of the record as I showed you before in my, one of my last videos with a few exceptions, of course. First, you get the OB strip, the OB strip with the information in Japanese and uh, there's Mike right there, nothing on the inside. Uh, this one also came in with a nice uh, protective sleeve, which is a little bit hard to find because the size of this CD uh, is the same with the US version. It's a little bit different than a regular CD size. They definitely made, made it look like a small vinyl record because it's a little bit more square than rectangular. So it's really nice uh, for them to have this sleeve. And it does come with a little hype, stick, uh, hype sticker called, uh, that says New Music Fridays. Um, aside from that, uh, almost everything is the same. It does come in with a um, uh, gatefold with a picture of the band, same as the US version. The booklet, it almost looks exactly the same, except that it does come with an extra booklet with all the lyrics in Japanese, as they do with um, the standard uh, Japanese versions of CDs. Uh, and then, the CD itself inside, and this is when you know that Je the Japanese really know how to do CDs the right way because they don't have just a CD just floating around inside the paper sleeve. You do get it with a protective, uh, kind of like a, like a clear um, a paper or plastic sleeve. So it won't get scratched inside the, the, the paper sleeve of the CD case itself. Uh, and as far as I know, the CD looks almost exa uh, looks exactly the same as the, the US version. So the big thing about this one, of course, is the extra track called Fever. And up till now, even almost a month until the record already came out, uh, I have avoided that to, to hear that song uh, on YouTube or, on, or anywhere on social media because I wanted to wait until I got my Japanese copy of the album on CD so I can actually listen to it for the first time. It's kind of like an extra track that I, an extra new Green Day track that I get to listen today. And what I'll do is I'm gonna go, go ahead and listen to it now live on camera. And then, and then at the end of the, well, after I finish listening to the, to the new song or to the bonus track, I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this bonus track, Fever. So let's go ahead and check out this, this Japanese CD. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out from of the, the plastic sleeve and I got right here my, my handy CD player that I've had since high school. This is uh, kind of like one of those Sony Sports. And uh, I've used the crap out of this uh, portable CD player throughout the years and it still plays like new. Let's go ahead and put it in the Discman, secure it in there, and let's go ahead and go into track number uh, should be track number 16 because the regular version of uh, Saviors only has 15 tracks and there it is track number 16 So I'm gonna go ahead and play this one of course with headphones on and I'll be right back All right, so that was Fever by Green Day, uh, the bonus track of Saviors from the Japanese uh, CD. Holy crap, that was a fantastic song. Why did they leave that song out of the record? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question, I think, because uh, it's a banger of a track. Uh, great guitars, great vocals from Billy Joe. Uh, just a fun, kind of like a, a 70s rock inspired type of uh, power pop song. Uh, I, the only thing that I can think of why they kept it out of the record, maybe it was because it's a little bit too similar to Corvette Summer and, uh, and the record, in the regular version of the record. So if you remember in my uh, review video about Saviors, you might remember that um, I mentioned that the last track in the regular version of the, uh, of the album, Fancy Sauce, uh, it's a good song, but I did think that it was a little bit of a weak closing track. I do think that Fever would have been a perfect replacement for Fancy Sauce as a closing track in the record. It does have a little bit of that closing vibe of, uh, of a song. I think it would have been a perfect closing song for, for the record. Um, but yeah, I, again, I don't know why they kept it out, but I'm glad that they included it in the Japanese version of Saviors. Great, great track. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the record and of course, 
uh, Fever, the, the bonus track of the album. If you had heard it, I'm gonna try to put a, put a link here in the description if it's available on YouTube, so you can go ahead and check it out in case you don't, don't have uh, one of these. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.